Hello everyone, this is Pastor Miguel from the Children's Better Lives Ministry Church here in Maryland. Today, I'm going to talk to you about uh, three areas. Actually, I'm going to talk to you about one of the three areas that Satan likes to attack. These three areas that I'm going to talk about are finances, health, and family. So, but the first one I'm going to talk about is health. That's one of Satan's favorite, favorite areas to attack because um, in a way it's a form of enslave, enslavement right it prevents a person if you're sick it prevents a person from getting up and doing the things that they have to do uh, it prevents uh, the person from sometimes praying uh, it prevents the person from doing functioning and doing things that you know normal people do and so it's possible for you to have a demon that causes you sickness and illness and those demons will be in, in specific areas in your body. Okay, and sometimes the way they get in there is because, um, you know, they have been passed down generationally. So the demons come through the bloodline and they're inside of you and they're just waiting for the specific perfect time to manifest. And so, you know, sicknesses that come from demons do not really uh, react to treatment. They don't react to treatment. And so, you know, a doctor could be giving you medication for a specific disease or illness, and it doesn't work. And so the doctor doesn't really know how you got sick. You don't have, for example, let's suppose you don't have diabetes in your bloodline, but you develop diabetes, right? And so the doctor can't figure out why you're having these things, right? And so because, you know, usually diabetes is like generational and things like that. Uh, so, you know, you need to, you need to see what is the cause of the disease? Obviously, if the disease was caused by something you did, uh, you know, like if you're eating tons of, of, of uh, sugar and, and uh, cakes and all this stuff, and you cause yourself to have diabetes, that's different from um, somebody who suddenly developed diabetes and they can't figure out how they got the diabetes. So any disease that um, you developed and can't seem to be treated or they can't find an origin of the disease it's it more than likely demonic okay and so you need deliverance prayer to get healing for that specific condition to help you and sometimes after you get prayer the medication will work or you get healed so I'll give you a good example there's a woman that I know she had developed um, blood cancer and the blood cancer was not reacting to any medication at all and she didn't know what to do. We prayed for her and she um, she was healed. She was healed. The medication started working and she went into remission. So this is, a, this is an indication that uh, somehow the demons were at work in this person's life. And so you don't really know, right? Some of these diseases and sicknesses that you may have you don't really know if they're demonic or not because most people don't get prayer for sickness and disease. Most people say, I just take my medication and keep going or, uh, you know, I have to go for treatment and things like that. So I would suggest that you ask for prayer if you have a sickness or disease to see if it goes away or if the medications work after you receive prayer. Don't just, um, you know... Um, Take it for granted. Okay, oh, I have the disease. I have to live with the disease. No, get prayer for this disease and see what happens. Now, I tell you what. I tell you what. Sometimes, obviously, from the Word of God, we know that we could pray for people and they get healed. There's a miracle and the person gets healed. So even if you don't go get deliverance prayer, ask for healing prayer, right? Deliverance is a form of healing. It's a form of spiritual healing. So... You know, a deliverance minister could pray for you for healing over whatever area is sick or whatever system is sick, and you could receive healing. And we've seen tons of healing within our ministry, all right, where people who have been sick, they receive prayer and they get healed, okay? So don't just take it for granted that if you're sick, that if you're sick, that there's nothing you could do about it, that all you could do is take your medications, Take your medications and continue with your life. Get prayer. Don't stop your medications, you know, when you get prayer. Because a lot of people 
would get you know would would, um, would get prayer and they stop taking the medications and they get worse so make sure that you continue taking your medication but get prayer and then ask your doctor if you could come off the medication and see what happens okay so it's very important for you to follow that protocol in order to make sure that you do the right thing okay that you're just not stopping your medication and causing yourself more harm all right so satan likes to attack this area in your life once again because he wants to keep you in bondage and if you can't get up from bed you can't pray you can't work you can't function and so it's a reform sickness and disease is a form of enslavement and um you need to get help thank you so much this is number one tomorrow i'll either talk about health or i'm uh, not health i'm sorry i'll talk about finances or family how satan attacks your finances and your family so be on the lookout for that video tomorrow god bless you guys and thank you for watching bye bye